three, two, one, boom! What's going on, guys? Dan with Matt Nasty Trapping coming at you again. How's everybody doing this evening? I'm coming to you live. Not live. Can't do that anymore. Let me try that again. Three, two, one, boom! Dan with Matt Nasty Trapping coming at you again from the trap line. I got a minimal line out here, guys. I've got, I don't know, 18 traps out right now. Uh, it was hot for a little while, and then it kind of tapered off and slowed down. But lately, it's been skunks, skunks, and more skunks, guys. Oh, my gosh. I've gotten two skunks in the last two days, and there ain't been anything else in the traps. Just the two skunks. And, I, you know, I'm not disappointed with it. I love the skunks. The skunks are a very cool critter, man. I mean, no doubt. Um, I got a lot of respect for them, and... Hey, they got their place out here in the woods too. But back at the vehicle, we got our Michigan skunk. He's kind of cute. He's kind of cool. I like him. He's got some nice coloration, nice stripes on him. He's a good skunk. <sighs> And they've been coming in, they've been hitting on my uh, Duke DP foothold traps, the dog-proof coon traps. They've been getting hit on those and uh, on some Friskies cat food. So, yeah, they still go after coon sets. It happens. From what I'm told, the furs ain't worth that much, but the uh, skunk essence is. And I can tell you that this little stinky critter right here, this little guy right here, this critter... He's got a musk about him. He didn't spray. He didn't spray. It took one pellet, 22 caliber. The property I'm hunting on and trapping on um, does not allow firearm use in the size of the property. It's not legal. So what is legal is air rifle. 22 caliber is what I recommend for all of you guys that are using air rifles out here. 177s, they're just a mess. But uh, here's proof positive. No... No bloodbath, no blood supremo mess. I mean, that's crisp white fur right there. He took just one dead center shot right to the head right there. And uh, five second or less dirt nap, done. No spray. The one yesterday, it did like the little muscle tweak out, the, the critter dancing. And it managed to probably spray about half of what it had. So that one was a little bit stinkier than this one. But this one right here, it's got a little musk about them. But, you know, it'll be taken back to the first shed. It'll be skinned out. And, uh, yeah, off to the market with that. I'll check for the skunk essence, see what remains. If any is there, and if there is, that'll be retained, used as well and sold to a bait manufacturer, I'm sure. I gotta figure out what the market is on it. But I'm told the skunk essence is probably more valuable than the fur itself. So we will find out. But again, it's not about the cash, guys. The fur market is down, it's been down. For all you guys that don't know, NAFA Fur Auction is now, I guess, out of business or temporarily financially bankrupt. They filed bankruptcy, so there is, at this point, NAFA is not taking any more furs. Um, so I got to find a new fur buyer. I know there's a couple out there I'm looking into right now and I'll keep you updated on that. Um, but at this point, Hey, any fur is a fur. They still would be, will be retained and used. And this guy right here will continue to go and hit the great Michigan woods. Any chance I can cash flow or not trapping is still a passion for me. This has been a video short with Mad Nasty Trapping. Hit that subscribe and that notification bell. Hit that like button and share this broadcast. Have a good evening, guys, and you will see me again sooner than you think.